Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delicio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Europe Divided from Chris, Chris Marling and David Thompson. Uh, two designers known for some pretty well-renowned games, a two-player game in about 90 minutes, a competitive game of post-Cold War influence over Europe. A game of expansionist Europe, a resurgent Russia, and a new Cold War. All right, well... It says it has asymmetric skill-based gameplay, unique and up-to-date geopolitical theme, tense and replayable, card-driven game mechanics, and stunning graphic design. Well, let's see if the components bear out to that graphic design. Here's our rule book. And we've got our fully illustrated setup here. Playing the game, Europe Divided consists of two periods. Periods one from the uh, events from 1992 to 2008 and period two events from 2009 to 2019. And you've got a sequence of play here for each turn, action segment, um, initiative actions to draw new action cards and it goes into more detail. Obviously this is a card driven game and so it's gonna go into quite a bit of detail about the different aspects of the cards here. It looks like there's a pretty big map component to the board as well, or to the uh, game as well. Okay, special turns, determining a victory, and then it looks like you've got conditions and iconography as well. All right, and you have a nice player aid here for both of the players. Okay. And this is specific to each player, it looks like. And we've got some cardboard, few cardboard components here, not a whole lot. These are relatively thin, but they, they seem to be functional. Okay, we've got our board here. Single-sided board. Let's see if I can zoom out and get most all of the board there. Yeah, I think we can get just about all of it there. All right. Okay. And we've got a whole bunch of colored D6s here. All right, a whole lot of those. There's a lot of dice. And I'm going to show you here in a moment, we've got a kind of an add-on here wooden dice and meeples. I'll show you those really quickly. They don't just come here in the base box, but it looks to be something you can get to add to the game to kind of upgrade the components a little bit. Here are some large sized cards, perhaps tarot sized, although I'm not positive about that, but they kind of seem to be, if not exactly that size, close to it. All right different events, Caspian Agreement, different conflicts, wars, revolutions, independence movements, and the corresponding area in the world where they took place, of course. There's also some iconography, I'm sure, that plays into the actions of the game that go along with it. Okay, so I'm just kind of going to show you each and every one of those, but I think you get a very general idea of that. And then we've got some standard size cards here, which I assume are going to be the cards that each player will play. But again, I did not look in any detail on that rule book. You saw as much as I did. These are double-sided cards, at least those two are. These are the, we've got Advantage Russia and Advantage Europe cards, and I'm just gonna kind of flip through these quickly. See a lot of icons along the side here, and then an area geographically. And then similar cards for Russia. 
All right, I think we got a pretty good idea there what's happening. And then I'll just show you briefly these wooden dice and meeples, which would replace the standard dice and the cardboard components, I would imagine. So here's our wooden dice. Now they're actually a bit smaller, they seem to me. Just maybe about the same size, but they have rounded corners. Okay, so let me kind of show you those. All right. So that's just a stylistic thing. Do you prefer rounded wooden dice or squared off kind of plastic dice? And then you've got just the wooden stars for both colors. All right, well, I think that gives you a pretty good idea of what you'll find inside the base box and the wooden dice and meeple set for Europe Divided. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.